everyone. Welcome once again to our online course on pricing in marketing. We have covered a fair bit of ground in the past few sessions. We started off finding out what pricing was, what are the objectives of pricing, what are the factors affecting pricing, what is the importance of pricing. We studied the importance of pricing from three perspectives, from the point of view of the consumer, from the point of view of the manufacturer, and from a point of view of the society. When we came to factors in pricing, we studied internal factors and external factors in pricing. Moving on, we studied pricing strategies. There were 10 strategies that we attempted to study. Then we proceeded to understanding price adjustment strategies. From now, we will now take up in some detail two pricing strategies, which are of slightly higher significance and importance. The first one will be price discrimination. Now, before we understand price discrimination in detail, we need to be clear about what the term discrimination is all about. When we say discrimination, it means differential treatment meted out to a person or a section. When we say gender discrimination, you treat men and women differently, mostly to the disadvantage of women. When we say race or color discrimination, it means that you treat people of a particular color in a different manner. Maybe black people are put to a disadvantage and fair people are put to an advantage because of this. So when you say that you discriminate people, you say that you mean that you differentiate in the treatment that you give to people. Coming to price discrimination, this means that a manufacturer is able to provide two separate types of pricing to different sections for the same product at the same time, which means that he sells his product, the same product to two different sets of people or to two different customers at different prices. But even though the price is different, the product remains the same and the time of sale is same. Simply put, price discrimination means that the same product is sold at different prices to two different sets of customers at the same time. The price remains different, the time of sale and the product being sold remains the same. This in short is price discrimination. Now, how is price discrimination practiced? What are the different methods of price discrimination? There are six or seven methods of price discrimination. We'll try to understand these one by one. The first is personality. Or you can say personal discrimination. In personal discrimination, what happens is that the seller sells his produce, product or service to two different customers at two different prices. To, to take the case of an example, Take the case of a doctor or an advocate. He offers his service, his consultancy at different prices to different people. Maybe to a person who comes in a car, he charges a particular amount because he feels that such a person is an affluent person. Maybe to a person who comes in an auto rickshaw, he may charge a slightly lower price because he feels that this person might not be able to afford his price. At the same time, he doesn't want to lose his custom also. So when you offer the same service at the same time to two different sets of customers at different prices, it is called personality based price discrimination or person based price discrimination. You offer your service or product to two different customers at the same time at two different prices based on their personality. From personality based price discrimination, let us now move on to category 2, which means locality. In locality based price discrimination, 
your product will be sold in two different localities at different prices. By localities, it need not mean neighborhood localities. It can even mean different countries. One commonly used strategy in locality price discrimination is called dumping. When a country exports its products to other countries at substantially lower prices than available in that country, it is called dumping. At the same time, the company is careful to sell its produce in its home market at higher prices. China could be a typical example. You find a lot of Chinese products coming, to, coming into our market at fairly or substantially lower prices. The same products might be sold in home China market at larger prices. This is an example of dumping. This is known as locality based pricing. Closer home, if you find that products are being sold in certain markets at higher prices and certain markets at lower prices, it is also part of locality based price discrimination. Third category will be discrimination based on use. If you charge different prices based on the end use of your product, this is called discrimination based on usage. You take the case of cooking gas. The price of cooking gas being used in hotels will always be higher than the price of cooking gas which you use in your home for domestic cooking. Or take the case of power supply. Your distribution company will charge a fairly higher amount of electricity tariff when you use power for industrial purposes, whereas your tariff will be much lower when you use it for your residential purposes. Based on the end use, if you decide to charge different prices for different customers, it is called discrimination based on usage. Next category is discrimination based on time. Till a few months back or till a few years back, so to say, your telecom companies used to charge much lower prices during night hours, during certain times of the day when usage was fairly low. To prompt people to use more of their service, telecom companies used to charge very low prices during night hours. Or take the case of airline operators, flights operating on graveyard hours, say between 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. in the morning are charged fairly low than regular daytime flights. So based on the time at which your service or product is being used, if you differentiate prices, it is called discrimination based on time. Next is discrimination based on volume. If you buy larger quantities, you get a lower price. Then the price you get for a smaller quantity of purchase. This is called volume based discrimination. The last category is discrimination based on age. How is this possible? Take the case of students who are giving concessions on city services for their commute to and fro from school. They are charged at a much lower price than a regular passenger. Or take the case of rail travel. If you are a senior citizen, you get a lower price when you book at the counter or through IRCTC. Senior citizens are given a lower fare for rail travel. This is an example of discriminatory pricing based on age. We have come across all the six different categories or the six different types of discriminatory pricing. I'll sum it up once again. The first was personality oriented discriminatory pricing. Second is locality based discriminatory pricing. Third is discriminatory pricing based on use. Fourth is based on time. Fifth is based on volume. And the last is based on age. Thank you.